victory's fade, it will always be remembered. You left your king in Asia, for I will go on with my Asia. That this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. There is an indefinable, mysterious power that pervades everything. I feel it, though I do not see it. It is this unseen power which makes itself felt and yet defies all proof because it is so unlike all that I perceive through my senses. Now we are the masters of our fate, that the task which has been set us is not above our strength, that its pangs and toils are not beyond our endurance. What would they have? Is life so dear and peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery? Forbid it, almighty God! I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death! Had it not been for these horrible demons, human society would be far more advanced than it is now. But their time is come now, and I fervently hope that the bell that tolled this morning in honor of this convention may be the death knell of all fanaticism, of all persecutions with the sword or with the pen. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. Every thoughtful citizen who despairs of war and wishes to bring peace should begin by looking inward, by examining his own attitude towards the possibilities of peace. Too many of us think it is impossible. A book is like a hatchet that cuts through the rough husk that enshrouds our minds and helps us tap into the exhilaration that ferments within. This is the philosophy of non-violence that I have learned from Gandhiji, Bacha Khan and Mother Teresa. And this is the forgiveness that I have learned from my father and from my mother. This is what my soul is telling me. Be peaceful and love everyone. You, in the years ahead, are going to be leaders of this country and shaping the destiny of this country. Hi friends, how are you all? I think some of you might be trying to recall having seen me somewhere. But where? Okay, I will help you out with that. I am Eva Simran, the child artist from MCBS Kalani Ketan. You have seen me as Gumbi Mool in Sufyan Sajadim as Mickey in Barki. Speech powerful when knowledge is coupled by experience and delivered to the heart of listeners. CPS Kalani Ketan proudly presents Miram 2020.
subscribe and like for more uploads on other competition and programs from MCPS Palani Kingdom.